What up? What up? See what I did there? No? Okay. All right, so um, we are gonna learn today how to do like a weird version of slope intercept form. <laughs> making faces at me. That was good. You think I ain't gonna call you out? Okay. Come over here and stand, please. No, okay. All right, so the instructions ask us to find the equation of a line, put in slope intercept formula that meets the following criteria. And so it's like what, we, what you've been doing. Hey, what's up, Snapchat? Um, through, it goes through this coordinate, and it's perpendicular to 2x minus y equals 7. So essentially what they're doing is they're making us put in slope intercept form, which we know is y equals mx plus b. They're wanting us to put it in that, but they are, um, they're making us take like the scenic route to get there. Okay, so we know if we have a coordinate that's awesome, that we can plug in and find like our b, because we're used to like saying, oh, okay, we gotta find the slope, and then I can plug that in and find the b, and then I have my m and b and I'm good. The problem is to find our slope, we have to like look at this little guy right here, okay? You're thinking perpendicular, I don't even, I'm like, I know what that means, but I don't know why they put that in there. We're gonna talk about it in a second. We're gonna do this little part first, and then we'll talk about this, and then we'll talk about this. Sound good? So everybody know it's like when you're in trouble and your parents are like, we need to talk, and they have like three points. This is, this is the first thing. You were driving too fast, okay? Slow down, all right? All right, so here we go. The first thing we need to do is we need to put this in what form? Slope intercept. Very good. And the reason is because we need to find its slope. Slow, very good, two for two. Good job, 10 points to Ravenclaw. Okay, so whenever we go in, we need to put this in this form, which means we gotta get what by itself? I just pointed to it. Y. Y, very good. So we wanna get the Y by itself so it looks like that. So that means I gotta move the 2X over here, which it's a positive 2X, so I'm gonna subtract 2X. That cancels out. I've got negative Y equals, and I'm gonna put that in the front. Why am I putting that in the front? To make it look like the slope intercept. Very good, man. Yes. High fives everywhere. Now, here's where people mess up when they do this, okay? That negative, I know you were gonna answer, but you're doing really well. You're three for three. Um, whenever you put that negative with that, that negative is attached to that two X. So whenever we slide that little guy right there, we wanna keep the negative with it, and that's a positive seven, so it's plus seven. A lot of people will just like put the two X there, and then they might put the minus from the seven, or just drop the minus because they don't like it. You can't do that, math. Math is like, we don't care about your opinion. Do it right, okay? So. Last thing, and this is where a lot of people would have messed up as well. After they moved that, they literally would have just like dropped that negative and left it off there. You can't just drop the negative. You have to keep it somewhere in the problem until you get rid of it mathematically. That's like negative one times y, correct? Yes. So we gotta divide everything by? Negative one. Very good, which is essentially means you're just gonna switch the sign of everything. Switches that sign which is that sign. So it'd be negative two divided by negative one, which is two. positive two. And then positive seven divided by negative one? Negative seven. Negative seven. Boom, we done. Okay, so we got that, step one. Now remember I said earlier, I was like, don't guys, don't worry about the perpendicular word. It's not a big, well now it's back, okay? And it's stealing all the stuff out of your house. All right, so we gotta fix this. All right, so with perpendicular, well, first off, what's the slope of this? What's the slope of that line? Two. Two, very good. So two is the slope. If two lines are parallel, what does that mean their slopes are in relation to each other? If like one of them slope is this and they're parallel, it's this, what does that mean? Same. They're the exact same. It's like, so if it's parallel to this, that means it would be two, correct? Now perpendicular, is not so friendly. It's the exact opposite of whatever the other one is, okay? Um, does anybody remember? Um, I gotta, you, you probably don't remember because I never said it to y'all. Here's the phrase I use. Flip the sign, flip the line, okay? Um, a lot of people will say opposite reciprocal. I think that sounds too classy, like I don't wanna calm down, okay? <laughs> flip the line, flip the sign. So, let's say I had one over three. And I want to make what's perpendicular to that. That's the sign for perpendicular, I think. I would flip it on the line, which would be what? Three over one. 
and I flip the sign. This is positive, so this one is negative. Now let's say it was negative two over five. Flip it on the line, it's gonna be five over two. Flip the sign, it goes from negative to positive. Here, you're like, well, there's no line, Tyler. What do we know that's always over? It's always over one. So I flip it on the line, it's gonna be? Negative one over two. And then flip the sign, it's gonna be negative. So that's the slope. So now I don't care about this part anymore. I got what I wanted, which is negative one half. Now I'm gonna work it like we'd work any other slope intercept formula problem. I'm gonna do the slope intercept formula. Y equals mx plus b. Plug in the slope. Y equals, I'm gonna put in parentheses, negative one half x plus b. And now I gotta plug in this, which I said is a coordinate on my line. I have to plug these in for x and y and then solve for b. Okay, so y'all try it while I work it up here and I'll just kinda walk through it and we'll see if you guys are doing the same thing. My x is? Eight, and so it'd be, I'm gonna put negative one half, I'll put the eight in parentheses, times eight. And my y is five, very good. Okay, negative one half times eight is? Four. Negative four? The negative four. You said it, you whispered the negative part. And then, I gotta get b by itself, so what I gotta do to negative four? Add it. Cancels out. It's nine equals b. And it looks like you're switching it. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so I know my b is nine. So whenever I solve it, equation of the line, y. Sorry, it's burped inside my head. Y equals negative one half x plus nine. And that'd be the answer. So it's like any of the other stuff you do when you're trying to put stuff in slope-intercept form, but it's like you have to know other little aspects of this. Get out of your way. So, that's it. Hope that helped. Best lesson ever, I guess. Is that what you're thinking? Uh, yeah. It's okay, you don't have to say it. I can see it in your eyes. Ladies and gentlemen.